Hi everybody! Welcome to Monday's live stream, and it's actually April 1st today. I cannot believe that it's April. I'm slightly late. Uh, I've been painting the art room, so <laughs> I gave myself pretty much just enough time to finish cleaning up and then come on. So, um, as always, if you're watching the playback, feel free to skip ahead through the first five minutes, and also there will be a live chat replay available for you. Hi Riza, hi Natalia. Thanks for joining. I'm not quite set up, but I figured I can do that while we wait for everybody to join. Do you? Oh, Lilo. She's got paint on her whiskers. She must have rubbed up against the wall. Hi Dusty, have you gotten your book yet? You silly girl. Come on. You're gonna have paint all over your paws too. Oh, painting with cats is awful. Absolutely awful. Let me see your paws. You did do you up right through that, didn't you? See so your back was. Oh, you're bad. <laughs> She's got one side of her face has white whiskers now. Hi, world of coloring. Hi, Yvonne. How is everybody's Monday going? Grab my stuff here. My whole art room is completely disorganized. Most of my shelves are down, so uh, the lighting might not be as good as usual because of that. It's not ideal, but we can make it work. Yeah, they usually take a while to get to you, but hopefully it gets there. If it doesn't get there, by the middle of the month, maybe let me know and I'll send in a message. Good morning, Charlotte. How are you, sweetheart? Just noticed we've got some weird shadows going on. Let me see if I can fix that. Oh, well, that's awesome, Yvonne. Uh, I'm doing good. A little bit hectic, though. I babysat pretty much all week last weekend from Tuesday till Friday. And then, of course, Saturday, little man had the stomach flu. So that was fun. And then Sunday started painting the art room. I guess that was yesterday. Just finished putting on the second coat on two of the walls. So yeah, it's, it's not fun, that's for sure. Well, it is, it is fun, the process is fun, but my art room is so disorganized and everything's just all crowded up against the wall and it's driving me crazy. I cannot wait to get it done. You get out of there. Come on. You've already got white whiskers. Do you want to go for a white head too? It's silly. Hi, Beth. How are you, sweetheart? Yeah, he's feeling better. Um, actually, the one boy that I was babysitting, his name is Rylan. He's uh, about the same age as Carbon. He's going to turn five this year sometime. And uh, he actually ended up getting it first. He was telling me that his stomach was kind of bugging him on Friday. And then his grandma picked him up and then his mom let me know that he actually ended up getting sick that night. So Carbon didn't get it till Saturday morning. Thankfully, he didn't get it quite so bad. I guess the little one was up sick all night. Carbon was just sick a little bit in the morning and then just kind of no energy throughout the day, but he's feeling way better. Poor kid. It's his first time being stomach sick like that, so he did not enjoy it. <laughs> so I wanted to be a little bit prepared today because I knew that I'd be painting in the morning and that I wouldn't have much time or much access to all of my coloring stuff. So I pulled out a couple things in advance. Um, I used that Jazz's Arty Game app to pick the book that we'd be doing today because 
I don't know, I was flipping through a bunch of books last night and I just could not decide, so it chose Anamorphia, and the one that kind of stood out to me was the Swordfish. So this is one of my favorite pages in the book. So I think this is the one we'll do. I did want to do a wash on it, but I can't, I can't get to all of my paints and stuff, so we're just going to go in with pencil and we'll do the extra work. It'll turn out really good, I think. Uh, definitely paint in the background though, but we'll just do that at a later date, hopefully when I have access to all of my stuff. <laughs> Oh, Lilo, you look so funny with those white whiskers. I did not realize how long her whiskers were until she drug them through the paint. <laughs> Hold on, come here. Oh, you got them stuck together. You silly cat. So... I feel like most of the stuff on this page is going to be blue. Hi, Becky. Or Steve. I'm assuming Becky, though. Um, I got it off of eBay. If you search um, mermaid makeup brush, it'll come up with a bunch. And there's different ones. This one's the blue and pink one. But they've got purple and pink. And I think there is orange and purple, maybe. There's lots of different ombre ones. Definitely a must-have. I love this brush for getting the pencil dust off because it's super soft and super cute. So, I've got my color records book here. i got to pick up another one. I don't have very many pages left. So, I'll just start a page for this and then we can dive on in. And of course, I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm on the fence, do we want to do him just blue? I'm kind of seeing him blue with like a blue and purple kind of fins, maybe some purple at the top. Let's go crazy. I'm going to follow my gut on this one rather than, it's one of my favorite pages, so I instantly like want to just make sure that it turns okay, don't want to try any stuff, but at the same time, usually when I do that, that's when it turns out bad. So let's just go with it. Yeah, those smudges are nasty, especially in spots that you plan on coloring light, because you can't really get rid of them. So let's see here for color-wise. So I'm going to do some purple at the top. I definitely want some on the bottom, so let's grab the black grape. Um, let's grab... I don't really like the pencil, but I like the color. We'll grab denim blue. So this is one of those pencils that are kind of problematic a little bit there. And maybe Copenhagen and True Blue. I want lots of blues in here, whether we use them all or not. Who knows? But they're good to have, just in case. So there's Copenhagen, there's True Blue. Since Saturday, oh my goodness, Dusty, get some sleep. I don't know how you're still awake right now. I'd be sleeping for like three days. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Okay, so I want to go up to a fairly light blue. So we've got the true blue. Let's grab the non-photo blue. Let's grab... I'm going to go too light. Let's grab the Caribbean blue. That's like a nice soft one. Or I guess I don't know on this on this from the I got this off Google and it says Caribbean blue but the actual pencil says Caribbean sea or is it Caribbean Caribbean I don't know okay it says Caribbean sea strange okay and then we also want a little bit of pinks and purples in there I think so definitely want some dark purple um, maybe even a little bit of lavender and lilac. So let's go with those. Lots of pencils, but hopefully this will work. <laughs> okay, so now 
that we've got our pencils picked out, let's just kind of dive on in here, I think. That's okay, Charlotte, lurk away. Without my shelf to put stuff on, <laughs> my desk seems a lot smaller. Okay, um, actually, I think I want to start in on his tail, do I? Yeah. I want to start in on his tail, I think. Just start right in here. And actually, a paper to put in behind. Oh, do you have the flu too, Dusty? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, so I'm going to come in with the black grape. I think I'm going to focus it kind of where Kirby has drawn in all of this shading here. Because so I think even though it's going to be dark on the bottom, I'm going to do... A thing that I've seen a lot of people do, and I'm going to kind of leave a little bit of a highlight at the bottom. I'm still going to kind of fade this uh, black grape out a little bit. I think I'm also going to color over these bubbles. I just won't burnish over them. I'll color over them and then maybe go in with like a white or a blue to somewhat change the color, but that way you can kind of see what's behind the bubble to make it look translucent. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I hope you both feel better. That's one thing. I've been a little bit hard on Rain, too. As some of you know, he's got, um, he's got spondylitis, so lots of back pain for him, too. It's constant. It never stops. And, uh, with me redoing the art room and stuff, and he's got his own projects going on. That poor guy is just white. Thankfully, for a lot of stuff, he'll show me how to do it, and then I can do it for him, which is pretty cool. I'm learning lots of different stuff, and definitely learning to be a lot more handy around the house to help him out. But I just feel bad, because it's the kind of stuff that he loves doing, and now he's just has to take it easy. Can't really push it. Hi, Jody. How are you, hun? I'm just bringing this purple up, it's kind of fading it out. Like I said, just kind of winging it today. I'm going to let it turn out how it turns out. I'm not going to try too hard, just going to do what my hands and my mind want to. Without overthinking it, that's the plan. No overthinking. <laughs> Okay, from there, let's grab the denim blue. I'm just going to start putting this in, kind of over top of where we faded out that black grape. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge of the black grape, but I am just slightly going to go over. This very edge is going to be still quite purple. I remember not liking working in this book. But thinking about it now, I think I've only ever colored in this with the scholars. Prismacolors are a dream in here. Even though the paper's not quite 
thick enough for my liking. I'm gonna really take my time on this. I'm just gonna, without pushing too hard, just kind of keeping a medium kind of pressure, I'm going to just continue going over and over until I get the color that I want. I don't want to burnish this in case I want to go in with other colors later, so I'm just gonna go slow. Oh, thanks, Jody. Your um cover cover not cover photo um title page for Geomorphia made me want to get the book. I'm on the fence now if I want it or not. That is absolutely beautiful. I need to learn how to do galaxy backgrounds like you. <laughs> Every time I try, I think my perfectionism comes out a little bit too much, and then it just never turns out good. Ooh, bunnies, what are you working on, Beth? And that's totally okay. I usually always end up doing something while watching the streams. It's usually housework, but sometimes it's coloring. <laughs> Dishes is the worst for watching streams. So I'll try and keep up with the chat too. And then somebody will type something and I want to like reply or say something too. And then your hands are wet so you got to constantly dry them off. And it's just so annoying. When I'm watching streams, it probably takes me at least a half hour longer to finish dishes than it normally would. <laughs> but I can't help it. Hi, Becky. How are you today, sweetheart? Hopefully everybody's Monday is going good. Okay, I'm liking that, I think. Now I'm not sure if I want to even put in those other blues or if I really even need to. I do like the Copenhagen though, so let's throw that in and just see. So I'm going to switch to the Copenhagen blue. I'm just going to start off lightly for now, see how I feel about it. It's very similar to the denim blue, but I think I'll stick with it. I don't think I'll end up using all of these blues. <laughs> Every day is a Monday for me, but I don't mind them. And I'm good, thanks for asking. Just busy. The last two weeks have been crazy hectic and lots to do the next few weeks as well and I don't think it's going to slow down anytime soon. 
So kind of enjoying it, kind of wanting it to uh, kind of calm down a bit. Mixed feelings. It's nice to be busy, but I don't know. Sometimes too busy isn't a good thing. Oh, that sounds awesome, Beth. I'm not sure which book that is, but it sounds interesting. Let's see now. Next color is the true blue and then the non photo blue. But I think I'm going to take the true blue out of there. I think I'm just going to skip straight to the non photo blue. So I'm going to come in with that. Again, not too hard. Kind of light, medium pressure. I'm just going to keep bringing this up. Hi, Helly. Oh man, it's not having my desk organized thing is driving me insane. Yeah, I'm not sure which one that is either. I'm more um, familiar with the more common books. All of those books from like Etsy and other Amazons are a little out of my price range, so I probably don't know them. Okay, I'm really liking this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in with the black grape. And I'm just going to start kind of using a little bit of a firmer pressure, maybe like a medium to firm pressure. I'm just going to keep building up this layer. I'm going to bring it up slightly more, just kind of fade it into these blues. Just really work on those gradients to make the blends seem like they just blend. There's no starting or stopping. It's tricky, it's time consuming, but it is worth it. I'm not really gonna burnish over here because I want these colors to fade into the tail. And I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with the tail yet. Like I said, I'm thinking like blues, purples, and really bright pinks. 
but we'll see. I might change my mind. So for now, I'm just going to kind of fade that off to nothing. Whereas all of this, we could pretty much burnish it if we want to. We shouldn't really need to completely burnish it, but just work on it as much as we need to. Hi, Sue. Anybody else I missed? Anybody that's just lurking? Thank you for being here. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, let's switch to the denim blue again. Same thing. Kind of that medium firm pressure. Just going to blend the two into each other and bring this up a little bit. So another crappy thing right now is I'm to the, well, I'm like right in front of my window, but my desk is turned sideways. So the window's on the right side of my hand. It's over there. So unfortunately, my hand makes a little bit of a shadow. I could have turned the desk the other way, I suppose. No, I couldn't have because I have my camera stand attached to my shelf, which I can't move yet. So... <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to work with the... Uh, the bumps. Okay, Dusty, hun, that's okay. So again, in around here, I'm going to lighten up the pressure. I'm still going to go over a little bit, but not very hard at all. Then we'll switch to the Copenhagen blue and do the exact same thing. Another thing I was thinking for the background on this one, I'm not 100% sure yet, and I definitely need to practice it before, or just fly Jody in here and get her to do it for me, but I was thinking about possibly having a kind of galaxy background, as if instead of floating through the water, he's floating through the sky. I'm not 100% sure yet. I like the idea, but I'm not completely sold on it. I guess we'll have to see how he turns out first, and then kind of go from there, I think. <laughs> In with the non-photo blue. I'm not very good at galaxy backgrounds, though. Granted, I haven't done a lot, so... Definitely have to practice, but I do like the idea of that. It's really kind of whimsical, and I don't know. I feel like this page is so beautiful as it is, but it could definitely, definitely work to make it seem a lot more interesting, too. 
And I don't think I've seen anybody do that either, so could be wrong. But I don't think I have. Okay, I'm just going to take the non-photo blue and I'm going to bring this down a little bit into these other blues and into the black grey. That's just going to help blend everything together and make it look a little bit more cohesive. You don't have to do that step, but I usually like to. It just helps them blend nicely. That's what I was thinking, Neo Color 2s for sure, because they don't intimidate me. I definitely could not use watercolors because I am like horrendous with them. <laughs> I need lots of practice. Hi, Karma. Thank you for joining. But yeah, for now, that's the plan. It could change, but. I think it looked pretty good. Okay, I really like that. So we have the Caribbean Sea. And I think, actually let's go back to the non-photo blue. I think I'm gonna use the non-photo blue down here. I was gonna do it with the Caribbean Sea, but I think I do want a little bit of a highlight down here, but I don't want it too light. So I want the lighter high or the upper highlight to be lighter and then the one down here will be a little bit darker. Just gonna kind of fade this out into this fin here. Don't really want to color over that. Same thing, fade it out over here. And fade it out into the fin. Really? It looked amazing. Yeah, today we're using just Prismacolor pencils. Nothing too special. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to the Caribbean Sea, and actually I want to sharpen that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sue. I hope your pain stops bothering you and you feel better. So I'm going to bring this in at the top. Oh, this is quite a bit darker than I thought. Didn't look quite so dark on my swatch. Okay, well, I'm gonna definitely lighten up that pressure then. I think I'll have to grab another blue to kind of come back in with over top to lighten this up, or maybe even the white. So I'm just gonna come in at the top. I'm gonna fade this out towards pretty much everything. I will color a little bit more firm in here though. Thanks, Beth. No, that's okay, Sue. So don't apologize at all. You take care of yourself. Health and life first, most definitely. You can always watch the playback. Now that I've got that uh, kind of the background of the fish done compared to these little stripes, I'm 
That sounds amazing, Jody. I think I'm definitely going to have to try that. And I'm definitely going to try it on a sheet of paper first. <laughs> okay, do I, what color do I want here? What am I looking for? I want the hot pink and the neon pink. So I'm just going to go in with the hot pink at the very edges here. Or at the very tips, I suppose. Not really edges. But... Just coming in lightly for now. I'm just getting a feel for this. We'll play around and see. And then I'm going to grab the dark purple. Just throw a little bit of this in here. Kind of coming down at just random angles. I don't want it all to be just completely symmetrical. On some of these, I'll just have the purple just to one side. On some, it'll be straight from the top, fading into that pink. Just kind of randomly putting it in there. They're all going to be the same colors, but they're not all going to look exactly the same. Well, and that's, like I say, that's usually when it turns out the best is when you just wing it. So you just do what you feel like and don't put stress on yourself. Then it usually turns out a lot better. Okay, I've got that in. I'm just going to come in and darken up some of this. I'm going to fade this purple out into the blue. Hi, Johnny. How are you, sweets? Okay, now I'm going to come in with the neon pink, and I think I'm going to use a firm pressure. And I'm going to go over the hot pink and the dark purple. Go a little bit over the purple up here if we want to, maybe a little bit over that blue. Not very firmly, just a soft pressure. That is true, but I find that even when I'm a little bit stressed about a page, I'm always calm and relaxed when it turns out good, so... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My little one had the flu this weekend. It's definitely not fun. I'm hoping I don't get it, but so far so good. Knock on wood. <laughs> Hi, Elaine. How are you? OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my white. And I'm just gonna come in at the very top here and I'm gonna soften up this blue and kind of pretty much go over everything, I think. I do want it bright and that's why I use the neon pink, but I'm gonna use the white to kind of make it look a little bit more pastel. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I kind of want these spots to match his fins, but I want his fins to be super bright. So his fins are going to be bright like this, and then just these little marks on his body are going to be kind of muted. And it's kind of weird calling him a him when he's got pink all over, but in nature the males are usually the most colorful, so it works. Oh, yeah, that's when you know you're really sick, eh, Jen? That's awful. <laughs> yeah, kids are the worst for that. So I guess I didn't really use the true blue or the purples or anything. Let's, um... Let's come into here. These little, I'll do these two little fins here while I've got these colors anyways. So, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to start with the dark purple. I'm going to kind of fade it into this bottom bit here, and I'm going to do this on all of these kind of textured sections, the ones that look like they're kind of above. We'll throw in a little bit of purple in this blue area just to fade it in. I'm gonna put some purple in here too, but I'm gonna go in with a blue. I'm gonna grab the um, the denim blue. I'm gonna come back in and color in there and kind of fade it out, which will give it kind of like a more blue toned, darker purple, if that makes sense. Switching back to the dark purple here, just want to darken these up. Kind of fade them out. Let's throw in some dark purple on this one too. So it's a little bit smaller, so not quite as much room to kind of work with. It would, wouldn't it? So, and I think for all of these, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think for all of these clouds, I'm thinking like a really glittery gold color. Or maybe silver, either silver or gold, I think. I could do both. I think that'd be a little bit too much. I'd have to pick one. I'm not sure because like I like gold with pinks, but I like silver with blues, and I've kind of got both, so it could go either way. Switch back to the denim blue, pop a little bit in there. And then let's go in with the hot pink. I'm pretty much going to coat this whole area with it. Same with on this one. I'm gonna make it darker in along those bits that are kind of like they go in a little bit. And then I'll grab my neon pink and just go over everything. And then going back in with a white Posca pen later will really tie everything in together, I think. Hi, 
occasion. I hope I'm saying that right. Hi, Robin. How are you today, sweetheart? See, we could do his tail. Yeah, let's go ahead and do his tail. I'm just going to close my door here. So every time I look at Lilo with her white whiskers, it just makes me giggle a little bit. That silly cat. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hello from Canada. Oh, hi, Loretta. <laughs> That's what I usually do, too, when I watch streams. Charlotte, me too. It's really good for, uh, really good for lightning, pretty much any, any kind of red colored pencil, even the blues. I like putting that hot pink over blues. Okay, Beth, not a problem. Drive safe, hun. Bye, Becky. You have a wonderful day. Sorry, I missed quite a bit there. So I was just reading up. So, get all my pencils mixed up. But let's start in with the dark purple. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this. I want to make it kind of textured, I think. So I'm just going to come in with the dark purple. And I'm... Just going to kind of loosely follow some of these lines that Kirby has drawn in here. Sorry, I can't get all of it in frame here. Let's see. Yeah, there, there usually is a lot of lurkers. You know, I, I get people that reach out to me saying that they don't usually like to chat, but that they love watching the channel and stuff, and that they learn a lot, which is always nice to hear. I love hearing that. But yeah, it's quite amazing how many people just don't want to get in on the chat. I imagine a lot of people watching are probably kind of doing things as well, too, so I'll probably just work on the top half first, rather than just kind of move the book up and down to get into frame. So, actually, let's see here. I'm going to grab um, I'm going to grab the Copenhagen blue, and I'm actually going to sharpen it because it's quite dull. Oh, I'm jealous, Loretta. I want to clean my art room so bad, but it would be pointless right now. <laughs> it is driving me crazy. I'm like, I haven't colored. I haven't been in here except to paint or to grab things. So it will be nice once I have all the walls painted. Two walls are going white. The other two are going like a baby blue color. So I'm doing the white walls now. The last coat will be tomorrow, and then I can take all my shelves and stuff off of the next two walls and then kind of prep them, get them mudded. And that'll probably take three days to get all the mudding done, and then I can start painting them. And once I paint them, it will take another three days to finish. And then I gotta wait for everything to dry before I can move stuff back. Oh my goodness. I'm never painting the art room again. Never. It's gonna stay this color forever. <laughs> So just coming in with the Copenhagen blue, and I'm going to kind of, I think, put this in on the edge. I don't, I'm not really liking that now. No, I'm going to erase that. <laughs> oh, hi, B. You don't need to be shy, hun.
Oh, that's awesome to hear, Cajun. Thank you. I love listening to streams while doing art or pretty much anything. <laughs> that sounds like an interesting book, Robin. Oh my goodness, Loretta, it's insanely expensive. That's another reason why I'm not painting for a long time. The only reason I decided to is because they had really good sales, and even then it was still pretty expensive, but it'll be worth it. I've been wanting to do the art room for a long time, and I went with colors that I know I'm going to continue liking, so... And Rain's got some pretty good ideas and some cute ideas for trim and stuff, so... He's been helping me here and there through the process. I think it's going to turn out really good. I'm pretty excited. Oh my goodness, Lord, that sucks. Yeah, I'd, I'd hate, I hated renting from people. Okay, I'm still going to come in with the Copenhagen blue, but I think I'm going to keep it more towards the center. I'm going to kind of darken it where it comes out from behind his body here, but for the most part, I want this color just in the center, and then I'm going to fade it out. I don't want to go too dark either. So just like that, and then I'm going to take the Caribbean Sea, Caribbean Sea, I don't know. I'm going to take that in on the left side, and then I'm going to take the non-photo blue, and I'm going to put that in on the right side. Okay, back in with the Copenhagen, just want to darken it a little bit. And then I'm going to take my white and just come in along the left side and lighten and blend that out. Hi Janice! Okay, now... Let's pick up the denim blue. Again, I want to sharpen this. I want nice sharp points on these pencils. So I'm going to come in now, right in along this whole line here. I really want to darken that up. And then same thing, I'm just going to do some flicking motions. Some I'm going to follow along with the purple. Others I'll just kind of make my own with the blue. Don't mind getting both tones in there. That's actually what I want. Really, Jenny? Those are my favorite. Anything underwater, like... I think most of my favorites in this book and most of any of my books um, have like fish in them, like the swordfish or I love the jellyfish. Um, I love the whale in this one. I'm just, I love underwater stuff. <laughs> Longest video yet. Are you recording Jody? Okay, now I want to go in with the hot pink. I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of add in some little stripes and stuff with this. I want to leave some white spaces though. I think I am going to come in with the neon pink kind of on its own. I'll use that to kind of go over everything maybe. Lighten it up. We'll see. We'll 
grab that now I'm just gonna see for now let's just go over the white spots and see how it looks yeah I like that I am just gonna go over everything I think going in the same direction though that I made those strokes with the pencil Oh, yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> well, I'm right here, girl. I know all about the editing. I've got all of the color along videos recorded for this month, but I still have to edit them and oh, I'm not looking forward to it. I like recording videos. I do not like editing them. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the bottom part of the spin now. Oh yeah, that's not fun either. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on this bottom part now. Um, let's see, starting with the dark purple, I think. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of run the dark purple all along this little bit here. Kind of fade it out just slightly. And then I'm just going to come in, put some of those random little marks in. Which is kind of awkward to do, actually. The top part was a lot easier. This part, not so much. I don't feel like this looks very good. So we'll Keep going. Perseverance, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to trust my five-year-old with the computer. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. Hi, Bella. How are you today, sweetheart? Maybe when he's older, though. He'd be my editing guinea pig. He'd probably love it, though. I feel like this one isn't quite as easy just because of the lines that Kirby has drawn in here. I don't want to go over them too much. I'm going to leave it like that because if I go over it too much, it's just going to look awful. Got to get rid of that perfectionist side and just roll with it. Okay, so Copenhagen Blue. Again, same thing. I'm going to kind of focus this in the center. This part is a little bit thinner though, so we don't really have much room to work with. I'm pretty good, hon. Can't complain. Well, I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> won't complain that's what I should say okay and then in with the Caribbean Sea and for this one I think I'm going to do the opposite I don't know why I just feel like the lighter bit should be on this side so I'm just going to lightly color in on this side of that Copenhagen blue and then I'll go in with the non-photo blue and color in on this side of it Correct shading? No idea, but I'm just going to go with it. And then we'll come back in with the Copenhagen and kind of darken it up. So we can go in with the white and lighten up this portion of it. So on the inside. And then I also want to grab the black grape. And I'm just going to pop a little bit underneath here because I feel like since it's coming out from underneath his body, it's going to be way darker. Hi, Shara. That's okay, hon. Only fashionably late. <laughs> I 
Okay. I noticed last stream too, I couldn't put my finger on it, but the quality was awful and I couldn't figure it out. And then I realized the one thing that you do or should do when you're recording off of your phones every once in a while is just wipe your camera lens off because sometimes it gets residue or just like dust on it. And yeah, so last stream kind of sucked <laughs> until I realized that I must have had dust on the camera lens. So good habit to get into, just a tip. So we're going to come in with the denim blue now. Again, I'm going to darken up all along this ridge here. And then I'm just going to add some marks on top of the purple and just add some random blue marks as well. Hi Lou, if I've missed anybody, thanks for being here. <laughs> we have Minnie's fingerprints. This is a double spread, Bella. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> It'll be fun though. Um, I might, usually when we stream, as you guys know, we'll stick to the same picture for a while, but um, I might put something in between this just to kind of break it up a little bit because this is going to take a while. I don't think it's going to take too, too long because it's not really detailed, but it is going to take a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. I'm like, what is going on? I was like watching a little bit of the playback because I forgot to write down a couple colors that I used. And then I'm like, oh my goodness, like I put it on 720 and it still looked terrible. I'm like, oh man, it must have been the camera. I didn't even notice until after, of course. So let's come in with the hot pink and exact same thing. and save some little bits of white here just here and there for our um, neon pink i'm just going to take the hot pink and i'm just going to color in a little bit up here and that's going to kind of help blend his tail and his body together it's going to kind of help attach them so i'm just going to kind of fade this out and then let's go in with the dark purple and kind of do the same thing. I'm not going to push too hard, but I'm going to kind of do the same thing coming up. I'm going to fade this out into the blues a little bit. And then, let's see here, let's grab the Copenhagen blue. I'm just going to start putting a little bit of pressure on here to help kind of burnish and blend these two together. <laughs> Hope you get lots of rest, Jani. Hope those kids don't drive you too crazy. Take care. Mm, I totally get that, Bella. I'm not sure if we've ever... Have we done a double page spread? I'm not sure if we have. Um, I know we did one in Johanna Basford. I haven't finished it. Um, I'm going to in July. I'll wait till July to finish our Christmas filigree page. Other than that, I can't think of any double page spreads that we've done on the channel. Okay, I'm just going to switch to the non-photo blue. Just kind of same thing. I'm just going to bring this up and kind of out. Maybe add a little bit more on some of these little under bits here. Hmm. 
Same thing, I'm gonna grab the neon pink. Just gonna come in. I'm gonna bring this kind of up his tail a ways and kind of fade it out into those blues. And then I'm just gonna go fairly firm pressure. And go over everything. Charlotte. Yeah, I'm like that too right now. Not because I'm slow though, but because I just haven't had the time to color. Like I said, I've been kind of avoiding the art room because it stresses me out a little bit. I might go back in with some blue over top of it. I just feel like there's a little bit too much. I left too much white, I think. Hard to get in on the sides. Let's go in. Let's see what the, actually let's go in with the purple. I'm just gonna come in with the dark purple here, and I'm just gonna darken up some of these areas where there's just a little bit too much pink. Hey. Oh yeah, sorry I stole that. Yeah, it's not too. Do you see Lulu's whiskers? <laughs> yeah, she's cute. She's a brat. Okay, I like that a little bit better. I also notice a little bit that it's quite a bit darker down here, so I'm just going to go back up here and maybe just go a little bit firmer with the neon pink, see if that makes a difference. I kind of want them to match. It's okay if the bottom one is a little bit darker because it's on the bottom, but if I can get them to match the best I can, I'd still like to, so that looks a little bit better. Oh, there's no such thing as coloring too much. <laughs> oh, Loretta. I feel like if I wore glasses, I would do the exact same thing. Let's carry on. He is going to look pretty psychedelic, this guy. I'm pretty excited. The little one, he's doing good. He recovered from his flu this weekend, and he's actually downstairs playing video games. So I'm actually quite proud of him. He hasn't played video games for like a month. Maybe longer, that's just kind of an estimate. It's been quite a while. Not really, he hasn't really asked. He likes to watch TV occasionally, but hasn't really played many games, so I'm quite proud of him. He went from, like, complaining about playing games all the time to just not even really asking for them. So let's just do the same steps. 
just continue out from what we have here, starting in with the black crepe. He is, he's a really good kiddo. And actually, I guess that is kind of a lie, because when he goes to his grandma's, he usually ends up playing on her phone. But that's about the only time that he's really gotten to play any games, except for recently. But at home, he's really good. But she also just can't say no to him. <laughs> Those of you who color in Kirby's books, what's your favorite part to color? The main image or the little doodles? Hi, Wendy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jody, pretty much. He's mostly just been playing with his toys. For the last week, it's been really easy because we have the boys over, so I was babysitting two other little ones, so he had somebody to play with. And yeah, other than that, he's usually just playing with his toys, or he'll help me around the house, or Wayne's usually doing just little projects around the house too, nothing too strenuous, so it's kind of things that Carbon can help with, so he seems pretty entertained. <laughs> that damn top chat. I've been there quite a few times, Jody. <laughs> it's even worse when you're the one streaming and then it's you're the one on top chat. He miss so much. Yeah, Bella, the doodles I think are my favorite parts to color. I don't mind the clouds. I find they're fairly simple to color. Then again, I've kind of got my own way of doing them too, though, so... When we get to that, hopefully it'll help you. Because I think almost every page has those clouds, doesn't it? Well, maybe not quite every page, but a lot of them do. Yeah, quite a few of them do. But let's see if I can show here. I'll usually just come in around the shadowed areas that Kirby has drawn in. So I'll just go by what he has for shading and kind of go with that and then add a little bit of my own in there. And then I like to make the clouds super glittery. So it's usually my way of completing them, but it definitely can be a little tricky. Yeah, we've been talking about that, maybe not last stream, but one of the streams, one of the previous ones, I don't get the point of it either. Especially considering it's what YouTube deems to be top comments. And YouTube has no idea what's important. <laughs> we want to see all of the comments. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to come in with the denim blue. Basically just going to follow the same steps. Now that I've kind of got this mapped out a little bit, I'm not going to color quite as soft as I did for the first section. 
Um, there's really no need to. I know what I'm doing now, so I don't really have to map those colors out. I can just follow along and just work on making it cohesive so the sections go together and so that way they look like they were all kind of colored at the same time rather than at separate times. Which is going to be the trickiest part, but it's worth it. Just gonna kind of watch where you fade it out in certain colors. And then just try and get it as similar as you can. Yeah, Bella, I'd have to agree with you there. I'm, I still like the pages, but not a huge fan. I definitely prefer ones like this, where the object is its own thing with the doodles around it. I definitely like that better. <laughs> yeah, it puts you back in top chat when... Like even I think even if like Messenger pops up over your phone, I'm pretty sure it puts you back in top chat after that. I could be wrong, but... If anything like pops up on your phone, like a phone call, or if you exit the app and then come back, it always puts you back in top chat. You've always got it should be the other way around. It should always have you in live chat and then you'd have to switch it to top chat. Candy. Happy Monday to you too, sweetheart. That must be fairly tricky to be left-handed with all these books. Okay, I think that's good for the denim. Let's switch up to the Copenhagen now. Oh, that's awesome, Candy. That's the um, the mythographic series, right? It's the newest one that's out, I think. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that one. I mean, I have the um, the first one, and I haven't even colored in it yet. It's super intimidating. But then I see like, especially Sammy's colorings in it. Oh my goodness! And then she makes me want to color in it, but then I flip to a page and it's like, oh my goodness, how did she do that? <laughs> I'm quite patient when it comes to coloring for the most part, but I don't think I'm that patient. I've got something in behind here. There we go, it's gone.
pretty fun hunting for coloring books, isn't it? Only one problem with starting at the tail because now I'm rubbing my hand through all the pencil. Thankfully, it doesn't really matter if it gets on the background too much, but it gets on the hands, and the hands are pretty colorful right now. Next, I'm going to switch to non-photo blue. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Bella. I might have to. If it starts smearing too much, I might have to, but uh, I don't mind if my hand's all colorful. They were uh, colored in paint earlier, so it's probably an upgrade having colored pencil on them. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the previous ones, so I'm just going to bring the non-photo blue kind of down pretty much over everything. And then we can run this in along the bottom too. Yep, I am coloring over the bubbles. And I said I wasn't going to burnish them either, but I actually ended up burnishing them. <laughs> kind of forgot, but... I'm just going to go back in later with a white Posca and I will... I'm going to put, um... An outline, a white outline around them. Sorry, my brain just kind of stopped working there for a second. But what I'm going to do is I'll probably take... Either a white pencil, and if that's not enough, I'll use some watered-down white acrylic paint to go over top of them. So that way they're just a slightly different color than everything underneath them. And that will kind of make them look more like bubbles again. Okay, bye Bella. You have a wonderful day, sweetheart. Okay. I'm going to switch to the Caribbean Sea now. Same thing as before, I'm just going to start lightly bringing this up from the top. And I'm going to bring this into the non-photo blue. I'm going to fade it down. I'm 
into these little bits here. Yeah, it's the same with Walmarts here. They don't carry very many. Okay. So I'm going to come in again with the hot pink. I'm just going to touch this in first. I think we'll just do these four for now. And then come in with the dark purple. Same thing as before. I'm just going to randomly place this color in here. It's going to be darker in some areas. Kind of fade it out. Also fade it up. I'm going to fade it a little bit into these bits as well. Yeah, that could very well be true, Jody. And I don't think the coloring community is quite as big as it was when it first came out, so I don't think they keep a lot in stock anymore. Because I know at my Walmart, a lot of books would just sit there. I don't think there's very many people in my city that color. I live in a pretty small city. I don't even know if it's actually classified as a city yet or not. I think it's just... Just enough people to make it a city. Oh, two seconds, guys. I gotta answer this. Hi. Good, you? Um, it sounds like he's tinkering around downstairs, so he's probably got his hands busy. Oh. Yeah, for sure. We're home, I think, all day today, so. Sounds good. All right, see you soon. Mm -hmm, bye. Okay, two seconds, guys. Let me quickly talk to Rain.
you guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So, let's come back in with the hot pink now. And now I'm just going to blend this up into our dark purple. Put a little bit of the pink up around here too. Just kind of helps blend it into that blue a little bit easier since it's kind of a softer color. And then oh, probably should sharpen this again. And I'm going to come in with the neon pink. I don't know if I went over everything on these last ones. I can't remember if I went over the dark purple or just the hot pink. But I'll bring it up a ways anyways. I'm just gonna blend into it. And then I'm going to switch back to the dark purple here quick. I'm going to add a little bit of darker spots just at the very tops of some of these. And then we can come in with our white. And again, we're going to go over everything just to mute those colors down. Hopefully the lighting is decent enough. Yeah, Charlotte, you should. That'd be beautiful. So is anybody here getting in on Hannah Lynn's Kickstarter book? Just going to come in with the black grape. I'm going to be doing the same steps. I don't really, I like having these spiral bound, but I also don't at the same time. Hey Robin, enjoy your editing. Um, yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure what exactly that is. This is my first time participating in a Kickstarter. I'm going to pledge later on, but basically, um, she had an idea of doing the best of Hannah Lynn, so it's gonna have pages from all of her previous books or from some of her previous books, maybe not all of them, 
And then it's also going to have, I think, 11 now, 11 ex exclusive pages just to the book. Um, it's not going to be available on Amazon or anything. If anybody wants to get in on it, you'd have to kind of pledge now. Um, there's different tiers that you can pledge for. Um, all of the information is on there. I'm actually going to come back over here with the black grape and darken this up. But yeah, um, so basically you pledge your amount. I think the first one is like, I think it's 19 US dollars and that's just for the PDF of the book. Um, it's cover to cover, it'll have full color pages so you can go and get them printed, you can get them spiral bound. Um, and then the second one is for a physical signed copy and I don't know, it just kind of goes up from there with different perks and benefits and stuff. So if you pledged now, um, there wouldn't be any, the payment wouldn't go through until, I think it's April 28th. And then, basically, if the project's not really set to start until, she has the expected delivery date in November. Because, as she said, there's pages that has to be colored, there's voting that's going to have to be done to see what pages are going in the book. There's, um... The publisher she's thinking about using is overseas, so she'd have to wait for them to make the book and then to ship the book and everything, but um, I'll try and remember. I'll put a link in the description for that so you can go and kind of check it out. Um, she's got all of the pledge things there for the amounts and what that pledge includes, and uh, there's different goals. I think we're at like $10,000 now, so the book is definitely going ahead. It's going to happen. Um, but the more that's raised for the book, the more there's like secret goals and stretch goals that are going to be reached and stuff. Oh, what? Can I show you what I got? Oh, you can show me after, okay? Thank you. All right. Yeah, I can't really explain all of it because it's a little bit confusing, but I'll put the link in. Give me like half an hour after the stream and I'll put the link in. And if you're curious about it, you can check that out and all the information will be there. Hannah definitely words it a lot better than I can. I don't know if it's on her website. Hold on, let me go grab that right now. I'm gonna put the link in chat too. Give me two seconds. Let me just hop off, see if I can find this. Now everybody's been posting it, so. Where is it? Bear with me. Is this the right one? Okay, this one has the pledges, but it doesn't have all the information about it. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> There's been so many posts about this, I can't find the one I'm looking for. I will just go to Hannah's page for some. I don't, I'm gonna have to look for it after. It's taking me a while. There's there's two different links that were posted, one for the pledges and then one with all the information. I'm gonna have to find them. Hi Nick and Tina, how are you guys feeling? Thank you, Jody. <laughs> yeah, that's the one with the with the pledges, I think. But it's I don't know, it's not showing the pledges for me. I think after you after okay, after you click on back up back this project, it comes up with kind of everything in it. Thank you for posting that, hun. 
Sorry if you can hear the little one in the background. And I'm not sure what we're going to color after this page. I might let you guys decide. I'm always undecided. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to color things that I know you guys are going to be interested in and whatnot. I'm just going to switch to the denim blue now. Um, I might Charlotte. I haven't colored in my coloring. I, haven't, I only have one. I've got the Halloween book, but I might join in because I've been itching to color in that. Is it too early for Halloween? No, never. <laughs> oh, can you? Okay, good, good. So all of that information is in the link that Jody put in, and I'll put that link in also in the description after the stream. Because it's definitely, if it's something that you're interested in, you'd kind of have to get in on it during um, this month. Because like I said, it ends April um, April 28th, I think. And then after that, um, I don't know if you can get in on it. I think after that it's done. Everybody who's paid into it will get their copies and whatnot. But um, it won't be on Amazon. The only way to get it is to pledge now. So... Thanks, Cajun. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. If not, I apologize. I'm going to switch to the Copenhagen blue now. Hi, Mia. How are you, hon? This area is a little bit trickier. It definitely needs a little bit more attention because it's kind of one of the bigger areas. It's a lot easier back in these little skinnier ones.
<laughs> I just saw that pickle. I got the notification for it. Now, come in with the, is it the non-photo blue next? Yes, it is. Okay, non-photo blue. I'm just going to go ahead and come right down to the bottom with this one. Just blend over everything. I think I'm just going to take that black grape and I'm just going to fade it down into this blue a little bit. Because it seems a little bit too harsh compared to the rest of the belly of them. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks Charlotte. Thanks Mia. Okay, let's come in with the Caribbean Sea again. And we'll, we'll just finish this side up, just this part here, and then we'll call it a stream. So we're just going to come in lightly, I'm going to fade this kind of down. I'm not really sure about this area here. Also, I'm just going to bring this down a ways into the non-photo blue. Hi, Linda. Well, thank you for being here.
I'm just gonna grab my non-photo glue again. I'm just gonna go over these areas just a little bit more to get rid of some of those white speckles. It's just a little bit too much speckling for my liking, so. Just gonna go in and smooth over that. You guys are so sweet. Okay, let's hop in here again with our hot pink. Again, not too hard. I'm just going to come in lightly, and I think I am going to kind of do this bit the same. Might as well. And we'll come in with our dark purple, which I'm going to sharpen again. I'm just going to pop this in just wherever, fade it out. Really lighten up the pressure up here again. I'll just keep blending it into these blues. Just kind of helps all of these colors kind of blend together. Okay, I'm just going to come back in with the Caribbean Sea again. I want to darken this up just slightly. We're still going to go over it with the white, and that's why I want to darken it up a little bit, because that white's going to knock it back. I want it light, but not too light. I want it to kind of blend in with what we have throughout the rest of the swordfish. And then we'll come back in with our hot pink. And then the same thing, just going to pop a little bit of that pink up here as well to help blend it into that blue. Um, Linda, this is Anamorphia by Kirby Rosanne's. Mm 
That's awesome, Shara. That's exactly how it should be. I'm just going to come in with the white and go over all of these pink accents. And the very top, oops, smudged a little bit. Oh, I totally forgot. I'm just going to stop there for a minute. I had to come in with the neon pink first. <laughs> My bad. That's okay. Just pop a little bit of this over top of the hot pink and just pull it up into that purple. I was wondering why it looks a little bit different. It's not quite as bright as I wanted it to be. Okay, and then we can just continue with our white. I think also what I'm going to do, I don't really want to lighten that up, but I do want to blend it out more while keeping these colors the same. So I'm just going to grab my blender pencil. And I don't need to push too hard. I can just lightly go over these areas just to kind of darken them up a little bit more. Or not really darken them, but just to get rid of that speckledness without deepening the color. Probably only need to do that for the first four, maybe. Yeah. Let's do it for all of them. Why not? So I'm just using kind of a medium pressure. I go in along all of those. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot pink a little bit and then just rub it a little bit more up here just because I don't think that blended out quite enough for my liking. But I think that is going to end this stream. Let's just zoom out here. So then you can see the full on effect. He is going to be pretty cool. Now I'm not quite as excited to color all those doodles except for the clouds because I don't want them to draw away from him too much. Thanks, Mia. So on Wednesday, we'll probably completely finish him and then maybe start on those clouds. Still not sure if I want to do gold or silver. I'm leaning towards the gold, but I think it will depend on what the background color is, too. So, we'll have to see. Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far, and thank you for joining. As always, oh, hi, May. <laughs> hi, Neferkit. Don't know if you just joined or not, but uh, we're just at the end here finished up. I'm going to go hang out with my boys. And yeah, we'll be back on Wednesday for sure. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, you're very welcome, guys. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you guys Wednesday. Hope everybody takes care. And actually, I might see some of you guys later if Nick and Tina stream. I'm not sure if they're feeling better or not. Hopefully they are. So I'll either see you in the streams or on stream next Wednesday, or this Wednesday, not next Wednesday. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Bye.